What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is part two, so if you missed part one, uh, go back. It's I'll put it in the eye in the sky over here, or wherever it is. This is part two, so this is the haul of everything I ended up finding while I was thrifting. That thrift store was a pleasant surprise. I was planning on going to a different, a different one, and then I saw that that one was right down the street. It was in an area I hadn't ever been in. The thrift store itself was in a nice area, but inside it was busy, 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 busy. And it was wrecked, like not organized by any means. The other one I was planning on going to is much nicer, although it was further away, but I scored in here, you guys. I think I found, like, I think I spent like a, hun a little over a hundred dollars. I couldn't part with so many things and there was, I, I put a back a lot of things I still really liked. So it was a good haul. And if you guys missed it, I went over everything I'm going for aesthetically in my previous video. So if you guys wanna see kind of what I was thinking when I was going into the thrift store as far as style goes and kind of honing in on what I'm really liking instead of just kind of like taking whatever comes to me, which is my normal style when I thrift, is just kind of like seeing what's there and not having a plan. Um, yeah, that works for me a lot, but you know, I just kind of want to like focus a bit more on just a few of my favorite aesthetics for the spring. So I think first thing first, we'll do the few little accessories that I found. I went back and forth on this one, but ultimately I ended up getting it. Um, and it is this fun little straw cowgirl hat. It's almost like the size of a fedora, almost a little bit bigger than a fedora, but not as big as a full cowgirl hat. And I did feel like it just needed a little bit of like tweaking. It was $4.99, um, but yeah, I think it's cute. And I feel like it, it fits the cowgirl, coastal cowgirl aesthetic. I have a different one that's like really uh, rounded and exaggerated in the front, but yeah, I just thought it was fun. And it gives me, it definitely hits. Hi, Mochi, come here, Moch. Say hello to the people. Okay, if you guys also didn't know, uh, we have a puppy, Mochi. We've had her for a few months now and she's wild. <laughs> so if you guys see her, or the dogs, they're always around. Coastal cowgirl hat, really cute. I imagine this with like a white flowy dress or even a lot of the things I, I bought in here. I like to style on my Instagram and take pictures on my Instagram and TikTok. My Instagram's private, but if you message me and tell me you're from my YouTube, I will accept you. I just had to make myself private for other personal reasons, but if you tell me, hey, I'm from YouTube and I know you there, I'll add you. Um, but yeah, I've been taking more outfit photos and this will be styled on my Instagram and TikTok in the near future. So it was a good find for $5. This purse, it was cute. It's not like, it's just like a no-name bag, but I feel like the style is just so perfect and like, you know, very basic, but I don't have a bag with this exact style. Very cute buckle on the front. I'm into accessorizing the bags as well, so I'll probably do some fun sort of like thing hanging off on one side, but I just thought it was cute. I also got this jar for $4. I am on my sourdough journey, sourdough girly journey. Everett and I are really focusing on just like our home life, I feel like. Like we're doing very much like home hobbies, gardening. I'm into gardening again. We're gonna be doing a lot of flowers in my backyard. We're redoing our deck right now. We're cooking sourdough. We're into like that homesteading life as much as we can on our little, what do we have, half acre? Half acre. <laughs> Anyways, yes, got this for sourdough. On Instagram, I'm sharing all of my sourdough journey. So add me over there. <laughs> um, got this little cute, easy traveler for jewelry for $3. I honestly need something like this. I usually just throw them in a little bag and all my jewelry gets tangled when I travel. So this one was nice because it has like little necklace or bracelets, rings, and then up top here, um, more little necklace with a little holder. So that was great. Quickly, I did end up getting this cute little bralette. I like to layer these underneath shirts like I'm wearing right now that are just a little too low cut for me or like kimonos and things like that. So a cute little bralette that I feel like has a decent amount of coverage. And I don't have one in this color, so I really liked that. This was $3.99. I also found this bra. I didn't try it on. I didn't try anything on. I just did the, the mirror. Sometimes I try things on, but it takes an hour. So I did the um, I hope everything fits well mirror situation when I was there, but I found this cute like bright orange bra. I feel like this is giving very like Fenty, Fenty? Sap, what, it, what's Rihanna's? Yeah, the Rihanna's 
lingerie line. This was also $3.99. And then I got a few little bikinis. First up, I got this one. It was brand new, never been worn. I think it's just like a Shein. Oh my gosh, all of the bikinis at the thrift store are now Shein, which I don't love because I feel like they're not great quality. This one seemed okay, but we're just, yeah, I don't know. Um, but it's kind of like this rustic red with the straight across top. But then I also got these two little tops as well that I could wear with those bottoms. This one is cute. I like the cut of this one. And then this one was kind of fun. Hopefully it fits okay too. I have a hard time in tops. Um, it's kind of more of like a fun snake skin or something. I definitely showed you guys this when I was in the thrift store. This is just Forever 21, but I loved it. $6. Love the color of this though. Like the pink and the red together are such a good pairing. And I loved that this one is more of like a knit blouse for spring. I feel like I can definitely like boho this up. This gives me a very Cali surfer girl on the beach with Birkenstocks kind of style. There was several really cute black flowy pants. I was trying to avoid denim. I did get one pair, but um, <laughs> I, it's hard for me not to. But these were so cute. They are Ramona LaRue by Ariane. I have no idea, but they are more like over a bathing suit kind of bottoms. They're kind of thin and flowy, although I do think that you could wear these to like a dinner or something like that because they are a nice enough material that you could definitely like zhuzh them up for a cute summery dinner party. But I was thinking more of wearing them to the lake or, you know, the beach. And then this is perfect for the cowgirl hat. This is actually, it was a little more expensive and I was like, why is it so expensive, this dress? Most of their dresses were like $7 and this one was 10 and it's this really cute maxi dress with the kind of like tube top top and then it's just really long and flowy the material seems really nice quality and then i figured out that it was it is tommy bahama which is why it was more expensive with the cowgirl hat and like this with the tan boots and like a tan bag or a pop of color bag very cute or i'd even wear that to like yeah, the farmer's market. I don't know. A cute little outdoor picnic with your girlies. Those are kind of the vibes. <laughs> Did pay more since I figured out that it was Tommy Bahama. I found this cute Zara. I'm pretty sure this is linen. It might be caught linen two-piece set. So obviously very like tribally boho kind of style of the print. Love that it's the neutral colors. I would wear the set together over a bikini, even over that bikini I got, super cute. Um, or separately, like these with a different top and the top obviously with different bottoms. But I love that they could go together as well. Okay, these are so fun and I don't think I showed you guys these because I found them, I think once my camera had already died. They are from that brand Japana, Japana. These ones were $4.99 and they are these nice flowy pants. They need a really good wash and steam. The pockets are like coming out right there. That's why they look bunchy, but they do have pockets. Flowy, but the bottom of the pants are kind of like the material gets wide. So they almost start to look like, like bell bottoms, but they're really fun and flowy on the bottom. So super cute, kind of like beachy boho bell bottomy flowy pants and I feel like these will be great for the hot weather and then this dress is pretty cute it's kind of a sweater dress so I need to wear it before it starts getting really hot here so within like from now until like the end of May but it is a sweater dress in these fun it reminds me of like a popsicle for some reason like a creamsicle it's giving billabong it doesn't have a tag on it so I'm not sure the brand but I just think that the print and the crochet, that it's a little see-through, everything That's about a this. Beach, a beach dress. <laughs> yeah, we just watched the episode of Vanderpump Rules that Ariana was saying that Tom Sandoval was wearing his like crochet beachy shirt because she saw it in the dryer, but they're not speaking. So she knows he was coming. If you know, you know. <laughs> if, if, you you know if you know, you know. If you watch Vanderpump Rules and you're caught up, uh, you know. Down in the comments, if you do watch Vanderpump Rules, tell us in the comments. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. I'll definitely get some wear out of it before it gets too hot, so I need to put this on my rack. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm so, I feel like sometimes like all the ideas come to me at once. I like to curate a rack for the upcoming month of things I want to wear and pull them out of my closet and put them on a specific rack of like 
things that I think are good to wear for the next month. Let me know if you want videos around like what I'm pulling. And then when I get dressed in the morning or when I have something to do, I already kind of have a thought of what has been inspiring me for the month because it's on that rack. So I'm gonna put this on the rack pretty immediately and let me know if that's the video concept that you guys want me to kind of like explore more, what I'm putting, what I'm curating on this month's rack. I just had to yell at Everett because we are redoing our back deck and he's like using a power tool that's so loud. I had to yell at him and be like, please just give me 10 more minutes to film this video. It's so difficult to film when your partner also works at home or like, yeah, if you know, you know. It's just hard to do content when you're not home alone with dogs and neighbors and all sorts of things. The weed eaters will be out soon. Next up are these fun flowy pants. They are from the brand Wild Fable. The material is very soft and not like slick. It's like, I don't know, like very smooth feeling. They're kind of cargo-y style, but I feel like I could definitely like beach them up. This is maybe something I'd wear with like a graphic tee and a trucker hat and like some Vans for that kind of style of this like surfer, Cali surfer girl. Very, um, Salty Blonde, the Salty Blonde on Instagram that I talked about in my, in my inspo portion. I feel like she would wear maybe something like this with a cute graphic. I found this dress pretty immediately when I got there and it was obviously someone's discard pile because it was that, yeah, that thrift store was a mess. It was like random shit and all over all different categories, but this was so cute. And it reminded me that this is also a brand I want to be looking for. Rip Curl, are they still around? Is Rip Curl still around? I have no idea, but I hope so. I, I love that brand. Like O'Neal, Rip Curl, all of those, Roxy, those are what I'm looking for. They probably got bought out. I know, they're really Quicksilver. cute. Yeah, Quicksilver, like that kind of like. Quicksilver started to buy a lot of those people. Ugh, that's sad. Billabong? Yeah, Billabong, exactly. Billabong, Volcom, Rip Curl, Roxy. What would you consider those? The Cali surf scene. That's like surf, uh, that's like surf. Brand. Yeah, like surf. Surf town, California surf town brands. Hawaii too. And Hawaii, yeah. Surf, that's like yeah. surf swag. Yeah, exactly. Surfer girl, surfer girl <laughs> swag. Um, anyways, yeah, this was so cute, perfect for what I was looking for. Very oversized, like this is a size small. It's very like billowy, and it, it's that really nice kind of waffle knit material with the cute eyelet lace, the little tassels, the details of ruffles at the bottom, like tiered ruffles. I did end up getting the little slip dress. This is a large size. I don't know if it's gonna fit me very well, but it was only like three or four dollars because it, it they thought it was a slip. It is from Urban Outfitters and it's just that kind of like dainty slip style of a dress with the cute little bows and lace at the top on the chest. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> the best find. The freaking best find of the day you guys this justifies my entire shopping haul girl math like oh this one skirt was more than my whole haul so makes the whole haul free <laughs> that's my girl that's math. girl math that's thrifter math that's thrift girl math <laughs> it's a new version if you find one item that costs more than your entire haul then it was basically like you got everything for free that costs more yeah. Uh, retail. Yeah, retail. Retail. Shopping. The retail is higher than your whole shopping, like everything you got. Like everything I got was less not, than this not one that skirt. You're gonna have any intentions of selling it? No. But, just but girl math, it makes me feel like I got everything for free. I could tell when I saw this on the rack that it was Farm Rio. I saw the print. This is a very Farm Rio kind of style with the accessory of the black and white. And then it has these little beads on the side. I just knew it was Farm Rio. I could just see it. I felt it. You guys saw in the video and I, I nailed it. Smell it. I could smell it. I haven't, I don't think I own anything Farm Rio. If I do, maybe I sold it when I was selling stuff on Poshmark. Here's the little tag right here. Very expensive brand. Very, uh, Anthropology has very fun, tropical prints I would say and this one actually still had the tags on it it's a size medium and I don't know if it fits me I hope so but right here it says US price $168 with the tags still attached never been worn $168 is way more this than, than this entire haul so I was so stoked on this I think it's very cute it's very like tropical tropical coconut girl vibes which is perfect for what I was looking for 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hope it fits. If it doesn't, maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. Or gift it to somebody. But that was the score of the day. And that made the whole haul worth it. <laughs> but I still have more. So hold on. Don't click out. Don't click out. Just because you saw the great score. We have more. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> I found all those fun wrap skirts. I think that they're tr uh, traditionally Indian. I could be wrong. Don't get, don't get, don't get, don't get upset if I'm wrong. But I think that they are traditionally Indian wrap skirts and they're beautiful. I have one other one, maybe one or two, and I love it. I feel like they're just so fun because you can style them in different ways because they have different prints on different sides and you can wrap them in different ways and they fit. It's like one size fits all because it's a wrap skirt. So you just wrap it around your body, how it fits well. Um, so this one had mostly greens and whites. There's a fabric here, different fabric on the top comes down the side. They're usually a maxi length. You can see the different um, materials peeking through depending on which way you wrap it. And then I really loved this like light sage green or jade green on this side, but it also has some like emerald green on the edge. So they're just beautiful. I love them. When I find them in the thrift store, I get really excited. And there was like seven or eight of them. I resisted and only bought my favorite one because I found so many other great things this day. But it was only $6. And yeah, they're beautiful. I wonder even too, I bet you could somehow wrap it as like a dress or other things. Oh, it even has a little hole there for if you want to slip it through there. This one is the brand Nani. Indian culture, their clothes are just so beautiful to me. Indian weddings, like just stunning, stunning. Beautiful materials, embellishments, beads, jewelry, gorgeous. This is just a Mossimo from like Target, old school Target. Very easy, simple dress. It's just a like light, It it's just black. It has different tiers on each tier. I don't know if you can see, but it has some fun little like embellishments on each tier. And then at the bottom, it does have like a raw hem or like a little it's like a ruffle with a fringe on the bottom i know that black is always so hard to see but it's just those little details that i think really make it cute would be great over a swimsuit or yeah with the cowgirl hat i think you know let's put on the hat again i guess i'm glad i got it it's it's giving coastal cowgirl you know very cute and then I, I caved and I got a pair of jeans. I hope that they fit. I've never heard of this brand. This quality seems nice. They're called Insane Jean Los Angeles. And they might be a little big. I can't tell. But I loved the wash. They are that sideways style as well. And I've never gotten a jean that has that like side fit. I'm not sure if I love it or hate it. Like it could be cute. It could be just like weird and bunchy. But I really liked the legs of the denim, like the wide leg and the holes were not totally blown out yet. And then I liked that they had a cuff at the bottom. <laughs> Can you see me? I'm sorry, this is difficult. They have a cuff at the bottom, they're wide leg. They seem fun. I feel like I could wear them with like cute Birkenstocks and like a small little top. I don't know, I did not try them on, but there was just something about them that told me I needed them. And they weren't that expensive, $7, not that bad for jeans. Sometimes they mark the jeans up. So you guys, that is my huge haul of all of the cute, fun, boho, surfer girl, beachy girl, coconut girl, hippie, dippy, feminine, coastal, cowgirl haul. Um, I will be kind of thrifting for things like this in the future as well. I didn't find any free people, which is surprising. I love free people. That's like my inspo. Free people as a brand. I just, that something about them just makes my heart flutter. <laughs> Would it be fun to do a version of this with only accessories and shoes? I think that that might be fun. Like shopping for just this aesthetics accessories. Let me know. Let me know. Really want red cowgirl boots, haven't found them. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much. Thank you for keeping up with me and all of my like thoughts that just, you know, sometimes my thoughts, sometimes my brain doesn't work and sometimes my brain is all over the place. It's like one or the other mode. It's like off or just psychotic. <laughs> I love you guys. Let me know if you guys want me to do any other videos on my garden journey, on my life. Just let me know. I'll see you very soon. Thank you for sticking in with me. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll get back on my, on my filming grind. But 
if if not you guys know i've been going through a lot so that's probably what's going on okay bye and if you want to see the stuff being worn follow me on my tiktok and my instagram because i make little videos and photos and i make I do a lot of effort into capturing my outfits over there. So if you need that, just follow me. Give me a little message. Let me know that you know me. And you can see these things styled. Okay, officially goodbye.